a simple and stylish way to upcycle our old, unfortunate folding chairs is design expert Kelly Edwards. And fortunately for us, Kelly, you are going to show you. us. <laughs> You're going to show us how to take these. These kind of, they're functional, but they're just kind of sad. Oh, can we talk about it? I mean, how many dinner parties? Meetings, book clubs, right, all of it. Church events, do you yep. go to? And this is what you're sitting on. I, well, you know why? Because they're <laughs> readily available. You can find a set of five or six of these at any big box store for a very reasonable price, but they just don't look pretty. Right now, I'm sure my mom has about ten of these in a closet in the downstairs. I'm telling you. Room. And here's the deal: when you have a party and you have all these people over, you spend so much time worried about food and decor and the candles, and then you're like, everybody, sit down on these. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, which are awful. So oh, no. I thought we could actually do something to dress them up. And make them look pretty. And make them look pretty. Yeah. And I fell in love with this idea. And I think it's just so simple, so easy. And honestly, you don't even, it's no so. It's no so, no glue. I cannot believe how easy it is. All right, so what's our first step? Okay, first step is you actually have to remove the seat and the back. Okay. okay. Let me show you how easy this is. Now, when you buy the chairs, always make sure you buy the chairs that aren't just metal. Because if they're just metal, then they don't have padding and you can't take okay. the seat off, right? These actually have the padding, and as you can see, they have four screws here, right. okay? And then in the back, you have three screws there, okay? That's it. So this is so easy. So all you do is unscrew it, and then all of a sudden, you have your two pieces. Okay. Okay? And then I imagine you get your favorite fabric. You get your favorite fabric. Okay, you could get uh, solid. Right. Get a stripe. You can get a tiny print, similar to your dress, or you can get a large print, okay? okay? I love all of them, personally. For this one, I decided to go with a large print, but the other thing to think about, too, is that if you're going with a large print, you wanna kinda line it up. All right. So as you can see here, my pattern here, I kinda wanted it directly in the center. Okay. So I cut it that way, so I already pre-cut this, and then I cut you a piece as okay. well, okay? And I love your idea of saying it doesn't have to be the typical kind of fabric that we think of. It could be a towel, it could be a shower curtain. How cool would that be? Yeah. Yeah. Well, here's the deal with shower curtains. Shower curtains are waterproof, so it's like some umbrella fabric. And you can take it outside. And you take it outside. Smart. So one, you can have these outside, and two, they're wipeable. So when you have people over, they're more than likely eating, drinking, yep. spilling, That's a great running idea. around, kids' parties. Perfect. Like kids' it, rooms. Kids' rooms. My yeah. Goodness. I mean, I actually did a stool right there, and for me, that stool is everything in a it's kid's room cute. because one, their their style changes very often. So yes. you can obviously change out the fabric and it costs like pennies on the dollar. But two, like I have friends who have music rooms. Right. And when you have a music room and the kids are just all sitting in front of the piano or right. whatever they are, you exactly. can have the little stools for them to play. So okay. super easy. All right, so what do we do? Okay, let's staple this. I'll give you that staple gun and this one. Now a trick to stapling, which is the, the easier way to do it, in my opinion, is you do the top and bottom first. Okay. So we'll do top and we'll do bottom, and then you do the sides. All right. After you do the sides, you can kind of go around and fill it in, but it really is super oh easy. Oh my gosh, it's as easy as this. I can't believe we're doing this live. Uh-oh, I think mine's out Are of Are you staples. out? Do you need mine? No, no, keep going. Okay, and another I thing got to consider, here. I think, is that the, um, if your chairs, because a lot of these chairs, we've had them for so long, these yeah. look great because they're new, they get kind of banged up a bit. So you could spray paint them whatever color you want, I guess. Well, you know what, here's the deal. If you don't have any chairs and you go to a thrift store, you know how you can buy them at the thrift store for like a dollar? Yeah. And sometimes they're those gross beige colors. Right. You can get those, spray paint them. If it's for a kid's room, you can do like a hot pink or a really right. cool blue color or, so you can actually pick any color you want. These, I got really, really lucky, and yes. I found them in black, which I thought was so chic. And I didn't have to spray paint them, but you can. Now, if you do spray paint them, you want to spray paint them with metal spray paint. Oh, is it? okay, I didn't realize they were different. So you want to make sure it sticks. The other thing okay. to think about, too, is if you're doing the back, I don't know if you could see here, I have three screw holes. Yes. You don't want to cover those because you're actually going to have to screw this back on. And what about the size of the staples? Does that matter? The size of the staples do matter because the idea is that if you're stapling in, you don't want people to get staples in their butt. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that would not be good. No, because no, all your guests no. are going to be like, your chairs look great. But I'm not sitting in <laughs> I'm not sitting in them. Look at that. I just did that live. Super easy. We could reupholster anything, Kelly. We could. If you guys have anything at home, <laughs> send it in. Kelly and I will reupholster for you. Now all that's left to do is to just place them on the on the chairs, it's right? Screw these in, right? Okay. okay, super easy. Here's the one that I have that has the padding taken off. Okay. okay. So I'm going to try and line this up. If you can see where these holes go here. Okay, let's see. Right there, got it. Okay, all right, I'm gonna hold it. Now there's screws, the black screws right there, yep. Okay, 
the trickiest part of this is just getting the screws lined up. <laughs> I to know. be completely honest with you. Okay, so we'll put right. this in here. Screw that in. There you go. Got it? And there you go. And just right. for sake of time, you put the third one in there, as you can see. Yeah, but this is going to hold it. So okay. We, yeah, so we'll switch this one out. Let me and then we'll screw this one in, obviously, before your guests come over. Exactly. But for now... Look at these chairs. I mean, look what we've just done. Are these not the cutest Kelly. things you've ever seen? Well <laughs> done. You're welcome, everyone. For full instructions, you can visit HallmarkChannel.com.